In this video, we'll look at whether barium bromide, that's BABR2, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. To do that, we need the neutralization reaction that produced the barium bromide. So we have hydrobromic acid and barium hydroxide. They react, neutralize each other. We have our salt, barium bromide, and we get a water. It's a neutralization reaction. Once we have the reaction, we need to know the strength of the acid and the base so we can use these rules to figure out whether barium bromide, BABR2, is acetic, basic, or neutral. This chart is really useful to do that. So we're looking for HBr, and so we go down here, here's HBr, hydrobromic acid. That's a strong acid, right, SA up there. Then barium hydroxide, BaOH2, barium hydroxide right here, strong base. So we have a strong acid and a strong base. Now we can use those rules to figure out whether we have an acid base or neutral solution. So looking at our rules here, we have a strong acid and a strong base. Here's a strong acid and a strong base. And that tells us that the pH should remain neutral at 7. So in answer to our question whether barium bromide is acetic, basic, or neutral, according to these rules, we should have a neutral solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.